<laughs> Hello, my name is Paul. Uh, the video today is a demonstration of how to change your templates and themes for the charts. So I'm going to show you how to change your background uh, color and how to change your car chart colors in the sense of your candles. So you can set up your candles to different colors and to save templates, which is your trade setups and save them as templates. OK, I'm going to go straight into it. Um, this is CTrader 3.7. Uh, this is the default chart you'll see when you start CTrader. I'm going to right click the mouse on the screen. I'm going to go to um, objects list. No, nope. I'm going to go to viewing options and I'm going to take away um, some of these objects I can see in the background. I'm going to take away bid price line, the grid, period separator, tick volume, deal map, chart scale and a few of the others. I'm going to take them all off. OK, now I'm just going to leave the um, at the moment. You can just see you've got a background screen with a logo in the background now. Um, I'm going to remove the logo because if you are looking at price action or you're looking at some structure, this logo in the background is going to obscure your view. You're not really going to see what's going on. So I'm going to go to background image and select that to none and save it. If you want a logo in the background, it's easy to add one. You just go back into that settings and you can change it. Um, you can load one in from the file system or from a URL. But if you really want to see what's going on with your charts regarding technical indicators or price action on the candles, you don't want any noise in the background. Um, obscuring your view. So what I'm going to do now is go to background image. Oops, don't want to go back there again. I'm going to go to uh, color options. I'm going to change the background color now. So you can set it to any color you want. If you set it to this color, you can see it's the same color as the rest of the UI. So it's all looked, it all looks clean now. It's all one color. Um, but you can change it to anything you want. You can select that color. You can grab the custom color, move it around. You can also drag the transparency and change the color of it that way. Um, but I'm going to leave it at this color here. So that's your background color. What I'm going to do now is go back to color options and I'm going to go to the bull outline. Now I'm going to set this to white first of all, just to show you what it looks like. So the bull outline is the candle wick plus the border around the body. So you don't want it too bright, um, you know, staring at it all day long. So you want something just a little bit off white, but you can see the prominent um, close and open prices. So I'm going to do that for the bear as well. OK, so now you can actually see it's more uh, visible. It's more contrast. Now you can see the wicks and you can see the borders. So you could identify the open and close price. It's a lot more clear clearly now. OK, I'm going to do that. Then you can also change the bull color actually it's itself, the actual color of the um, the body of the candle. You can do the same for bear. So you can change it to any color you want that makes it look more pleasing to your eye. <clears throat> how you want to look it. Now, once you've got it set up to how you want it, you just want to save it as a template. So you just right click on the chart, go to template, save template. You can call it anything you want. Go call it my template and save. OK, it's saved. What's, what will happen now is when you open up a new chart, uh, the one I've got is going to default to my my uh, setting. I'll just show you the white one as well. So you can this is the one I set up for for white background and it's kind of a milky white background with prominent colors. And you can clearly see the um, wicks and candles open and close highs and lows prices. So you can set it to how you want it. But I'm going to put the template we just saved. I'm going to go back to my template and there it goes. It's also remembered the zoom setting as well. So there you go. That's how to save a template. What I'm going to show you now is some pre-saved templates that we've done with indicators that are already attached to the template. So you could have some very complex um, setups with indicators and uh, robots or any way you want to do it. And you can save it as a template. And every time you open a chart, you just apply that template and it remembers all your settings. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to one of the harmonic ones. So here, not only is it remembered the indicator that's attached to the chart, it's also remembered all the setting values that are in here remembers all the values. So if you had many, many indicators on the chart with all different settings, it will remember those values and you can just um, load them back in for every time you open up a new symbol. So I could up a new, open up a new symbol now and it would remember the settings if I applied the template. So another one you can do is if I got a template MA cross. So you can see there's a moving average cross here and it's actually remembered the fact that we've hidden away the candles. Um, I'm going to quickly show you now how to do that, how to hide the candles and just trade on indicators only. So I'm going to go to template. I'm going to go to a standard black view. OK, I'm going to go on here. I'm going to add two indicators, two simple moving averages. OK, I'm just going to add another one. A different period. And a different color. OK, there's two simple moving averages. And if you just wanted to trade on those only or something similar, you don't want the candles in the background because, again, it's too much noise that you're not looking at that sort of price action. To hide the candles, you just go to uh, color options, bull outline, and you set it to the color 
because I've already remembered the recent color of the background. I can go bare outline, bull fill, and bare fill. And there we go. And if I want to save that template, oops, sorry, is my phone going off? If I wanted to save that template, I just do the same thing again. I just go templates, save template, and then that's saved the template. Right, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. So it's a quick overview of themes and templates. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up at the bottom. Thank you.